my cuties. I hope you're doing so well. So today I have a gel kit from Beatles. And this kit specifically is like a starter kit because it comes with a UV LED lamp and like all the other stuff that you would need to do a full gel manicure. But this one specifically is a bit special. It's a bit special because it is specifically white and pink themed. So the gels in here are all like white and pink which I chose specifically because I wanted to do ballet core nails. And if you don't know what ballet core is, I will put a few examples up on the screen. But yeah, I've been seeing a lot on Pinterest recently because I spend like half my life on Pinterest. So let's go. Okay, so I have the kit right here. But before I get into it, I just want to address that I literally suck. Some of y'all might not know what I'm talking about right now, but basically <laughs> I took off those acrylic extensions that I built last week and I was supposed to keep them on for like as many weeks as I could and just keep doing infills. But obviously that didn't happen because I have new full cover tips on today. Yay. Let me explain, let me explain. So what basically happened was they were super chunky and the fact that they were really chunky was really bothering me. So I started to hate the shape. So I went ahead and removed the gel and I was like I'll just file them into a thinner shape so I did that and I filed a whole bunch and literally like filed my skin off because I was filing so hard and I didn't even notice I was filing my finger with a wooden file by the way after all the filing was done they were looking fine but I still hated them because they were like all different shapes like of thickness all different apex I just could not bother with them anymore I just felt yeah, so basically I'm a disappointment. No more acrylic extensions. We're, we're back to full cover tips. Um, yeah, anyway, let's just, let's move on. I'm sorry, don't be disappointed in me. Alrighty, so back to the kit now that we've got that out of the way. So I've got the all-in-one color gel gel manicure starter kit. So we've got the little application guide as usual. We've got a nice full size UV LED lamp, so you're not gonna have to go buying another one because this will fully cure your gel. We've got the cord to plug that in. A nice sturdy looking pair of cuticle nippers. Beetles, so cute. We've got a nice size of base gel top coat and matte top coat, toe or finger separators a standard 100 by 180 buffer and 100 by 180 wooden file, a small pair of nail clippers. I'm guessing this is the cuticle oil. Yep, a cute little cuticle oil, a little brush for dusting off the nail dust after you file. Ooh, a nice cuticle pusher. I really appreciate the nice cuticle pusher. This is the cuticle pusher that I usually like to use. It's the same one as this. And I like it because it's like a little bit more gentle and rounder rather than like super sharp and like square, if you know what I mean. This thing, which, oh my goodness, one of y'all explained to me the function of this thing. And let me show you, this is how it works. So you stick it on the gel polish like that and it becomes an extension of the brush. Like how cool is that? What? I actually kind of want to try to use this today and see if it helps because that's super epic. I've never gotten one of these in any of my other kittles, in any of my other kits besides the Beatles one. Anyway, here are the six colors that come in this kit. And what's nice is they're all 7.5 milliliters. So they're like that nice big size, not like the super tiny one that you get in some of the other kits that come with like 30 colors. But let's go ahead and swatch all of these. Let's do it. So excited because I'm going to be swatching these a little bit differently today. Usually what I do is I just swatch them on regular swatch sticks. And then I just have a whole bunch of swatch sticks that are like not labeled because I'm too lazy to label them. And it's just like a whole big mess. And honestly, I have so many swatch sticks that I end up throwing away some of them because I just don't have room for them. But I got inspired by Habom Nails. You already know that I love her. I shout her out like so often on this channel. Anyway, instead of swatching them on swatch sticks, I'm going to be swatching them on these little acrylic flowers that I found on AliExpress. 
and then I'm going to be like taping them onto this white blank postcard and putting a label for what colors they are. I think that it'll just make it so much cuter to have all my colors organized on little swatch cards like this with labels and then I can just put them all in one box and then look through them every time. So yeah, I'm really excited to do this. Uh, let's do it. I will link these postcards and the little acrylic flowers down below if any of y'all also want to kind of do this method. I bought honestly so many of these because I'm planning on going through and swatching literally every single gel polish that I have and putting them on a card like this and I've kind of got a large box just really unorganized full of gel polishes so that'll definitely be a video coming up at some point whenever I get the time to actually sit down and do that. So yeah, anyway, let's open these. So we're gonna need just six. One, two, three, four, five, six. My camera is definitely not liking the amount of white on the screen right now, so I'm just gonna take this card out of here for now. Okay, so I'm going to use a little press-on stand to hold these little flowers so I can swatch the gels. So I've just got these little glue dots. You can also use like that press-on putty stuff, but I just like using these little glue dots. And I'm just gonna put one of those on there. I'm just explaining like what I'm doing for this first swatch since I've never done it like this before just so that y'all understand what I am doing and then I will just get on to the swatching. But I'm going to put this little acrylic flower on here upside down like that. So this side that I'm going to be swatching the gel on is the flat side. And now let's just get to swatching them, shall we? And now I'm just going to place them all on my little card with more glue dots. This is literally just the cutest, most fun way of doing little swatches of your gel polish. Like, oh my goodness, look at these. They're like little stars or flowers or whatever. I feel like it just makes the colors look even more beautiful because they're like domed. Look at this shiny shimmery one. Oh my goodness. Let's see what it looks like in the flash. Oh my goodness. Look at how sparkly it is when you use the flash on it. So cute, oh my goodness. I am literally just so excited about swatching my gels like this now. I literally cannot wait to get a chance to swatch all of the gel polishes that I have like this and do like a huge, oh my goodness, I'm literally smearing it. Well, that's sad, whatever. And swatch literally all of the gel polishes I have like this. I'm so excited. So I hope that y'all are ready for a huge gel collection swatching type video. And I will add more Beatles gel polishes like over here. Uh, whenever I do swatch everything. But enough with the swatching, enough with that. Y'all get the point, um, I'm obsessed and these are so cute. I do wanna mention these ones look very similar on the swatches, but this one is actually more transparent and more jelly. Just them being against this white paper background, you can't really tell, which is I guess one downside of doing it this way. It would be awesome if I had like a clear plastic card to put them on, but I feel like that would be like a lot more expensive than just putting it on a piece of paper. So. So, yeah, I want to do my nails now uh, like really bad and I'm really really gonna try to do a full set today So like let's just get right on into it. Like let's get poppin I am going to be doing mine on extensions today. I already put these extensions on in advance But you know you can do it on your natural nail or you can go watch my full tutorial that I have on gel X extensions on how to put extensions on if you want to see how I Put these extensions on the full cover tips that I'm using are actually These gel X ones. I only have two boxes of gel X 
extensions and I just like was really looking for a nice pair of like long round ones because I can't ever seem to find like long almond long round and I've just been like doing way too much online shopping um because I've just been getting burnt out and tired and that's just like my addiction is online shopping it gives me dopamine and makes me feel better anyway um enough about my uh mental illness these are the full cover tips that I have on today but the supplies to put on full cover tips and extensions do not come in this kit so that is something that you would have to do separately and buy all the supplies for that separately and I do have a full checklist and tutorial that I made just for you guys because I love you so much and I want you to be able to have long nails if you want them anyway let's buff my nails with this 100 by 180 buffer shall we so that they're not so smooth and so that they've got a nice roughed up surface that the gel can cling onto we don't want any peeling no chipping nothing of the sort you don't like chipping around here in these parts no 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 chipping but yeah I'm just gonna file one hand um, because I'm gonna be doing working on one hand at a time and I'm just trying to be really careful with this as to not irritate the frick out of my cuticles because they're already very angry okay if you couldn't tell already okay they're they're not doing too hot okay but it's okay I'm used to it it's fine I'm I'm okay don't be angry don't I appreciate how much y'all care about the health of my cuticles but don't worry I'm fine Okie dokie, so I went ahead and washed my hands because they were just looking too crusty dusty for my liking. So let's just start by plugging in this little UV lamp because I am going to be using the one that came in the kit today because I want to test out this whole kit for y'all. It does come with a pretty lengthy cord, all right? I'd say probably like at least four or five feet. Aha, beautiful. And the timer on here is 60 seconds, which will be a full cure. Okay, so like I mentioned before, I'm going to try to be making these ballet core and I'm gonna try not to go too crazy on each individual nail because I do want to have energy to do my other hand after. Let's just get into it. Um, I think I'm actually going to start with a simple French tip and I'm skipping the base coat. I'm just gonna start with white on the entire tip kind of going to be like a sort of like reverse French tip if you know what I mean. It's going to be white with a pink tip. Oh, I just spazzed. And I'm going to give that a full 60 second cure so that there's no wrinkling. And then I want to keep it towards like the softer pink colors. So I'm going to do the French tip with this B990 color. And I'm going to try to make it sort of like that really wide French tip. Like not wide curve, but like with barely a curve. You know those kind of like French tips like that almost don't even have a curve to them. It's just like half the nail is white and half the nail is nude. I think just you can tell what I'm trying to do, right? Right, okay, cool. Okay, I know it looks hideous right now, but uh, trust me, trust me, I think I can make it look all right because we're just gonna turn it into like a little ballet shoe. You know, I did ballet like before I was in kindergarten. So I'm not an expert at ballet or anything like that, but I looked up what a ballet shoe looks like on Google. So I think we can do it. I do kind of wish that the white was a milky white instead of a real harsh white, just cause I don't know. I'm more a fan of like using milky white, but it's okay. I think that this is gonna work. And now to finish this nail off with a cute little bow. And 
And at the same time, I'm actually gonna go ahead and put the top coat on this one because I think I'm just going to stick to doing literally each nail like one at a time separately. So I just wanna top coat this one to make sure that nothing happens to it while I do the other ones and it stays super clean. Although there is some lint in it already, which is like fantastic, but you know, what's new? And one more full cure. And we're off to an epic, amazing start because I really don't like how this nail turned out. Woo! Yeah, I don't know. I think I really wish that I had used like a nude base instead of the white. I think that would have looked like a lot cuter, but oh well. No going back now, no siree. And I think if we can make all the other nails look really cute, it should be fine. It should be okay. Okay, so I think for the next one, I'm also going to go in with the white and then actually try to do like a pink blush effect because now that I've learned that I can use all of my eyeshadows as uh, like nail pigments, I'm kind of obsessed and I want to use as many of them as possible. So yeah, and maybe just like putting a lot of white in this set will just make it look more cohesive with the thumb and then it will make the thumb not look so bad. And doing the blush effect with eyeshadow always works best with a matte top coat. Honestly, I don't even know if it would work without a matte top coat. Just don't do that to yourself. Use a matte top coat. So that's what I'm gonna do. Luckily, this kit came with one. Okay, and then the shade of pink I'm going to use is from this Morphe X Nyan. I probably said that name wrong. I'm so sorry. Anyway, it's called Fierce Fairy Tale. I found it at TJ Maxx before you ask. And I think I'm going to use this shade right here. I think, ooh, or should I use that shade? Ooh, ooh, I think I'm gonna go with this one. This one right there. So to create the blush effect, I'm going to just be using this dry ombre brush. I'm just gonna wipe it off on this little nail wipe to make sure that there's no other color remaining on there. My nail wipe is dry though, okay? I made the mistake of using a wet one once, uh, don't see that. Anyway, so I'm just gonna tap it in the eyeshadow a couple of times and then tap off the excess on my nail wipe and then lightly tap on the nail, kind of starting towards the center and pushing out. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. And I'm actually going to take some of this sparkly eyeshadow and add some into the middle. Cause why not? Why not? We've got sparkles, why not add them? Beautiful! And now I'm gonna dust off any loose powder and then just hit this nail with another top coat to seal in that blush. It always looks like 5,000 times better with the top coat, I don't know why. Like I feel like every time I do it, I'm like, ooh, does it look good? I don't know if it looks good. And then I put the top coat on and I'm like, oh my God, it looks so good. Okay, okay. I can definitely tell that a tiny bit of the residual purple that was on this brush um, definitely showed up a little bit in there, but you know what, it's fine. It just adds some pizzazz and we're all good. I'm definitely gonna go in with like charms or whatever, stickers maybe at the end. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do all the nails, like just their simple thing first, and then I'm gonna go back in and add more stuff before the final top coat. So I think I'm gonna end up top coating these nails twice, but we'll try to keep it thin. We will try not to get too bulky. Okay, so for the next one, I think in order to make it look a little bit more cohesive, whatever, I kind of want to try to do like a French tip again on this one, but instead make it pink with a white tip. So I'm just gonna use that same pink as I did on the first French tip. shoot bro i went to give it a cure and i knocked it with my other nail i'm so amazing i'm so great Let's see if it can be fixed yes okay it only got exposed to the light for like a fraction of a second so wasn't long enough to do damage 
Okay, now I'm gonna give it a full cure and uh, try not to knock it this time. I had to wipe off this nail with alcohol. That's why it's all white now, which is so annoying, but whatever. I hope that y'all aren't so super disappointed with me about giving up on the doing like the infills with the acrylic extensions instead of removing my set every time. I really wanted to keep those extensions on and make it work, but like there was just so much else going on that was causing me stress. I was like, I cannot look at these anymore. They must be gone. And then I just took them off. I'm sure y'all know where I'm coming from. I'm sure that y'all can understand. I just feel bad because I really want to test it out for you guys, but maybe another time. Okay, maybe another time. Okay, wow. That French tip literally took me so long trying to make it perfect that I almost forgot what my intention with this nail was. Um, I really need to stop spending 30 minutes on every single French tip. This is why my back is hurting by the end. It's unnecessary. Okay. Anyway, I didn't forget. I remembered. And what I want to do is I want to use these little pearls right here. So cute. And I want to outline the French tip line with them. If I remembered that while I was doing the French tip, I would have realized that I didn't need to make the smile line absolutely perfect because it's just about to be covered with these pearls. But you know what? It's fine. It's all good and dandy and great. It's whatever. I'm just going to put on these pearls and we're gonna move on because you know what? Past is in the past. The past is in the past. We're moving on. Do you guys wanna know what movie I am like so totally obsessed with right now? Pride and Prejudice, the 2005 one, Keira Knightley. Absolutely amazing. That movie, just makes me so happy and I just love it so much. Makes me want to live in 17th century England, but I don't think people did their nails back then. So yeah, maybe not. But if you haven't seen that movie, definitely see it. It's amazing. It's like one of those classics that you've just, you've got to see it. Okay, for the ring finger, I want to make it look kind of like it's a corset, like the back of a corset getting tied up. So I think for this nail, I'm going to make the base just this like jelly nude color. And I'm being very careful not to get it in any of like my open wounds, don't worry. Also, my finger right there is not bleeding. It hasn't been bleeding since very earlier on yesterday. It just looks very red and angry. I really like this nude. Part of me wishes that I would have used it for a lot more of them. You know what, it's fine. You know what, this scent, it's gonna come together. It's gonna come together, I know it will. Anyway, I'm going to use this pink for like the sides, the fabric, if you will. Perfect. And now I'm just going to use the white for the little lace to lace up the corset. It would be so cool if I actually had small ribbon and I used real ribbon for this, but I didn't think of that ahead of time. So we're using white gel polish, it's fine. In the future, that would be a really epic idea. Cute. I love it. Now I want to create the little like rivets, I think they're called, like the little silver things, you know, the holes, whatever. And finally, I've never used these before, but I finally have a use for these little metal things. They're just little metal domes. They're not caviar beads, but I think that these smallest ones would be perfect to be like little pleat, not pleats, little rivets. Rivets? Yeah, rivets. So I'm gonna use these. And I'm just gonna put one of those at each one of these like meeting points, if you know what I mean, like where the ribbon meets the fabric. Also, um, if any of y'all also like Pride and Prejudice and there's other movies that you also love that are like Pride and Prejudice, definitely share them with me in the comments down below because I would love some more movies to watch. I love watching movies. I'm totally a movie watcher over a show watcher. Anyway, this isn't like a nails and chill, but I thought I'd share 
I'm kind of debating whether or not I should have used the bigger little metal thingies, but I think that it looks fine with these ones. I think that if they were any bigger, it might be protruding down at the tip. And I don't really want things protruding too much off of my nails for this set. Then I'm gonna go ahead and cover the entire thing, including the little rivets in top coat. And I'm definitely gonna cover the rivets. It's actually important that I cover the rivets because I don't want them to be popping off. So the top coat will definitely help seal them in there. Alrighty, and then for the pinky, I'm going to start with that nude, like that jelly nude color again. And then I'm not exactly sure how to describe this design. So I'll put a reference on the screen. It's kind of like, sort of like the corset, but I kind of more imagine just like fabric being tied in the back instead of like a zipper or a corset. And I'm gonna do that using the white. I'm literally not even joking about how long that took and it literally looks so poopy, but it's okay. We have it and I'm really hoping that putting the bow charms on are somehow going to like miraculously make it beautiful. So let's just do that before I lose my mind. And sadly, I don't have two of the same bow charms, so we're going with different ones. But they're kind of like the same, you know, same idea. I think they're cute. Yeah, we're just gonna cure those on and put a toppity top coat. I'm not gonna lie, I'm having a lot of second thoughts about doing my second hand today as well because I've already spent like three hours on just the nail art and I don't know if I'm gonna spend another three to be honest with you. And I'm not even done with this set because I still have things to add on some of the other ones. Okay, so this set is definitely coming together and I think it's looking so cute, but I'm definitely not done because I still feel like these two are definitely missing something. Starting with this one with the blush, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just draw a simple bow with this metallic painting gel. I feel like drawing little simple things on nails is always harder than I think it's gonna be. I really just need to get some like bow stickers. <laughs> that would make my life so much easier. Okay, so it's not the best, but it's not horrifying either, okay? I think the only thing that really could have been better was um, it being more centered by going up a little bit more or by me making these tassels a little bit shorter, but you know what, it's whatever. She's looking cute. We're gonna finish the center off with a little pearl. Maybe I should have used a rhinestone. Yep, I think I'm gonna use a rhinestone instead. Just looks kind of off. Yes, much, much, much better. And I kind of want to fill up the space up here a little bit because it's just bothering me how it's like off center. And I'm also kind of sad that I didn't end up using this one because it's so pretty. So you know what I think I'm actually going to do is I want to make some like 3D rhinestone swirly things, but I'm going to mix the rhinestone gel with this sparkly gel polish that I was just talking about. 
and this specific palette has a bunch of random glitter that got mixed with top coat and cured onto it because I didn't clean it. Uh, just ignore that, okay? Just We're just gonna ignore that. And we're gonna mix that up. Perfect. And now I'm just gonna use my little liner brush and we're gonna add a few swirls, water drops, whatever you wanna call them. my goodness absolutely marvelous time for the top coat time for the toppity top coat i'm gonna try to not let it pool around the 3d stuff i'll probably just go back in afterwards with another little brush and kind of like wipe it out from in between the 3d stuff so that the 3d stuff actually pops up off the nail but oh my goodness, I'm so happy that I added the little bit of the glittery one because it's so cute. And then for this thumb, I'm just trying to find ways to make it so that I like it more, so that I like stop hating it. <laughs> but I think the thing is that it just looks too plain up here. There's too much going on down here. It's kind of like unbalanced. So I think what would help is if I went around the smile line with pearls like I did for this one. So I'm gonna do that. And then just re top coat that one. Oh my goodness, yes, that helped so much. I like this nail so much better now, and I just feel like it looks so cute now. I still feel like this one is lacking. Should I put a large gem? Should I? Will I? Mm. Why not? Look at this butterfly. That would be absolutely stunning right there. That is going on 100% yes. And I'm actually going to use this kind of like really thick gel. I don't even call it non-stick anymore because honestly it's like really not. It's definitely sticky. At least it sticks to my gloves. Like it's weird. It doesn't stick to this metal, but it sticks to gloves. Anyway, I am going to use a bit of this to hold my rhinestone big gem down because I think I can. Maybe? Hmm. No. Okay, you know what? let me try this. I'm gonna try to prime it a little bit. So put some primer on the top coat and I think that'll help it to grip a little better because right now I think it's just a bit too glossy. I'm just gonna kind of scrub that in there. I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and let's try that again. Yes, success, booyah. And hopefully this holds well. I think I used a little bit too much, not gonna lie. Just remove it. I think that doesn't need one more gem down there. Mm, I don't have pink rhinestones, so I think we're just gonna have to leave it like that. Okay, so I'm gonna cure it. Although, hold up. I don't really like how all of this is looking super streaky and bumpy and such. So I'm just taking some alcohol on my brush and smoothing everything out. Okay, much better. And give it a little flash curie cure. And then one more top coat. Honestly, another top coat may be kind of unnecessary, but am I gonna put one? Yes, okay? I'm putting one. Just cause I feel like the places where that 
solid glue gel went are probably super sticky now and I don't want my nails to get super linty. Of course, I am skipping the stone though. Going around the stone, going around the stone. Beautiful. And one last full cure. Honestly, this video should just be called Anne is a disappointment because I told you I was gonna do both hands, but I think I'm only gonna do one because I'm tired. And you know what? It's fine because it just goes to show you that sometimes your plans change and that's okay. We can be flexible. Today, I'm being flexible with myself. I'm being flexible with my energy level and you know, I'm being real with what I think I can accomplish right now. And what I think I can accomplish right now is one hand, okay? Cause I feel like if I go and do this one with my left hand, it's really gonna not be a great time. And I don't wanna not enjoy filming and doing my nails because what's the point? What's the, it's, not, it's not a good time for anyone, not a good time. So we're doing one hand today and honestly, all that means is that I'm gonna have to do this hand probably tomorrow. And so you'll have another video coming out real soon, cuties real soon. And with that being said, cuties, here is the finished set. Here are my ballet core nails. And I am literally, literally exploding inside because of how cute they came out and how much I love them. Like what? What even? Look, 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 look at them. Oh, sparkly. So nice. They Did they take four hours? Yes. But you know what? It was worth it. Okay. It was worth it because they are so cute. I'm actually like too excited about these. Um, Somebody help me. Wow. That was spasmatic. I should probably not use that and re-record. I enjoyed making these nails so much. I really love how Beatles made a gel set with basically everything that you need to do just a simple gel manicure with just focusing on pink and white colors because I feel like these colors are really great basic colors for people who want to do simple manicures, more subtle, like um, practical, cute nails. You could do French tips, baby boomers, whatever, you know, all the good stuff. And you've got full size bottles, so. And I'm kind of sad that I didn't use this color because it's so pretty. So I'm probably going to end up using it in a different set because, you know, I love that shade of pink so much anyway. Anyway, you guys, I love you so much. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, you could definitely give it a thumbs up and give it a like, you know, smash that like button. It really helps me out a lot, you guys. I love you so much. You guys are the best. It means the world to me. All of your comments, all your likes, subscribing really, really helps me and means the world to me. I hope that you guys are having the most amazing day, night, week, life. Sleep well if you're going to sleep, cuties, and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye! Mm -hmm.